Welcome! In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how you can scrape ratings and reviews from a website using Parsub. To begin, open your Parsub client, click on New Project, and enter the URL of the website you would like to scrape data from. Click on Start Project on this URL. The website will load on the right-hand side. For this example, we'll be scraping from the Laptops category on the Best Buy website. To keep this tutorial simple, we'll simply be focusing on this one category, but please note that you can scrape from other categories as well. For more information on how to scrape data from several categories, please refer to the tutorials in the description of this video. On the left-hand side is where we'll be able to build our project. Our project consists of a set of templates, each corresponding to a different page layout, and commands on that template that advise Parsub on what you want to do on the page. To begin, we'll click on the plus sign next to select page, choose a select command, and select the very first product name that appears in the area below. The Novo ThinkPad, for example. Once you've clicked on the first product, it will be highlighted in green. It'll show that one element has been selected on the left-hand side for your select command. And in the preview below, it will extract both the name and the URL for that product. Parsib will suggest similar selections in yellow, in this case other product names. Clicking on those should select those as well. There are now four products selected, but if we scroll down the page and select on yet another product name, Parsib should identify that we want to select every product on the page. You can now see that all 32 products have been selected, and as you scroll down, you'll see that all of them are highlighted in green. These appear in the preview below with their URL which you can choose to keep or delete by deleting the Extract URL option. We can give our Selection 1 a more descriptive name, such as Product, by typing it into the Select command. To have Parsub go through all of the different pages, we'll have it click on the Next button every time it reaches the end of the page. To do this, click on the plus sign next to Select Page, choose a Select command, and click on the Next button. We've now selected the Next button, which we can call Next and we can click on the plus sign next to our selection and choose a click command to tell Parsub we want to click on it. The pop-up will ask us if this is a next button, in this case we can say yes, and it will therefore suggest that we repeat the current template. So we can click on repeat current template. The reason we're repeating the template is because we want to do the same actions on every single web page, which is to select all of the products on that page and click on the next button. Now that we've selected all of the products, we want Parsub to click into each one so that we can get their reviews. To do this, click on the plus sign next to begin your entry in product, and choose another click command. This time we're going to say no, since this is not a next button. And we're going to create a new template. We can call it results template. And click on create new template. This will load one of the product pages, and a brand new template on the left hand side. On this website, the reviews are at the very bottom of the page. And to get to all of them, we need to click on Explore All Reviews. So we're going to add this intermediate step. To do so, click on the Explore All Reviews link, which we can rename to All Reviews to make it more descriptive. Then click on the plus sign next to our selection and choose a click command. Once again, this is not a next button, and it goes to a new template, which we can call Reviews Template. Click on Create New Template to create a new template. We now have the Reviews page containing all of the reviews with a new template for that Reviews page. Know that there are two tabs, Canada Reviews and US Reviews. If we wanted, we could add another step that clicks into each tab and scrapes reviews from both countries. However, for simplicity, we'll be referring just to Canada Reviews in this tutorial. There are several pages of reviews and all the reviews have a review title, description, the reviewer, their location, the date, and the amount of star ratings that they've given it. Similar to what we did for the product, we're going to select on the title for each review. If we click on the first one, it will be highlighted in green again, and clicking on the second one will select all of the reviews on the page. We can see that 10 have been selected, and each of the titles are being extracted below. We can rename our selection one to review. To get information related to each review, we're going to use what's called a relative select command. Relative select commands allow you to relate data, for example, the title to the name of the reviewer, or the title to the description of the review. 
To get the name of the reviewer, for example, we would click on the plus sign next to begin your interim review, choose a relative select command, click on the review title, and then click on the reviewer name. We can rename this to reviewer, and we now have a second column containing all the names of the reviewer. We can repeat this for other information related to the review. Again, click on the plus sign next to begin your interim review, choose a relative select command, click on the review title, and then click on the data we want to extract, in this case of the description, which we can call description. I'm going to repeat this for the location, so relative select to the location, which we can call location, and once again for the date. In our preview, we now have five columns corresponding to each piece of data for each review. These columns correspond to the selections that we've made on the left-hand side. All of these selections have been text. However, the ratings information is different as there is no text on the rating itself. Different websites have different ways of getting the star rating. In this case, there's a container around the stars that allows us to view the rating for that review. To get this container, Click on the plus sign next to begin your interim review, choose a relative select command, click on the title, hover over the stars, and then we're going to zoom out to that container. To zoom out, you can hold down Command on Mac or Control on Windows, keep that key held down, and then tap on 1. As you keep the Command or Control button held down, every time you tap on 1, it will zoom out to a larger selection. In this case, I've familiarized myself with the website beforehand, and I know that I want to select this outer container. I'll click on it to select it. Parsep has now selected all the star containers, which I can call rating. And you can see that the numerical value of the rating appears in that column. If you're unsure about how to extract the star rating on your website, you can always contact us at helloparsep.com, and we'd be happy to take a look into the website for you. There is one last thing that we'll want to do on this reviews template, which is to go through all the different pages of reviews. Similar to what we did on the main template, we'll click on the plus sign next to select page, choose a select command, click on the next button, which we can again call next, click on the plus sign next to select and extract next, choose a click command, and this does select a next button, so we'll say yes, and we'll repeat the current template. Our project will now select all of the products that appear on the first template. For each one of those, it will click into it, go to the results template, and click on the Explore All Reviews button. Within Reviews, it will collect all of the reviews for that product on all of the pages. Then it will return back here, repeat this for the next product, and do so on and on until it's gone through all of the products on all of the pages. We can test run the project to make sure it's behaving as expected by clicking on the Get Data button and going to Test Run. Open the Test Run. On the Test Run, you have three options. You can go through each command step by step by clicking on this Step In button. You can play through it at a relatively slow speed, or you can play through it at a faster speed. If we click on the option to fast forward through the commands, it should start playing through our commands step by step. It will select all of the products click into the first one, go to all product or all reviews. When it's in the all reviews template, it should scrape all the reviews on the first page, then go to the second page, scrape all of the reviews on the second page. And once it's done scraping all the reviews on this second page, it should automatically return to the product page and select the second product to repeat the same steps again. The preview below appears in JSON, but once you've finished running your project on our servers, you can collect the data in either CSV or JSON format. We can click on Stop at any time to stop the test run. When we're ready to collect the data, we can click on Get Data and actually run the project. Clicking on Save and Run will run this project in our servers, after which you'll be able to extract the data. In this tutorial, I've demonstrated how you can scrape ratings and reviews from a website using Parsub. If you have any questions at all regarding your own project, you can always contact us at helloatparsub.com or in the little chat icon that appears in the bottom right-hand corner of our website or client. Our help center at help.parsub.com also contains many other written and video tutorials that you may find useful. Happy parsing!